Uh, Michael Tiernan here, I'm a founding director of LEDP. Uh, my background is in civil engineering, um, engaged in construction and property development over the last 40 years, based in Limerick. And I live about two miles out the road here, near, near this community. In uh, 1998, when the uh, Crops Factory, uh, which was owned by Group Moulinet, uh, closed, it was a devastating blow to the local uh, community here, particularly, and, and indeed Limerick in, in general with the loss of over 500 jobs. I was approached at that stage by Liam McGilligat, who had been the manager of the plant, um, wondering if I had any ideas on, on the way forward. Uh, the government had appointed a task force at that time, and uh, I engaged in discussion with Liam as to uh, the way forward and what would be best for the area, uh, bearing in mind the uh, workforce that largely came from the, this immediate area. Um, we, we considered many options and in conjunction with our other colleague, Jerry Boland, we decided to um, come up with a, a vision and a plan which would be in the best interests of the local community. And on that basis, we formed a charitable company which engaged the, the main players in Limerick. Uh, they comprised of Limerick City Council, Shannon Development Company, Limerick County Council, IBEC. I was already a member of Limerick Enterprise Network for, for, for some years, which was uh, an organisation that we set up to help uh, start up businesses and provide mentoring and other supports uh, uh, in, that, in that cause. Back in 1989, about uh, 10 years more or less before crops closed. Uh, we're, as, I live, as I said earlier, I live nearby here and my then seven-year-old son sitting in the back of this car, uh, following the completion of a shopping centre we were involved in downtown, said it wouldn't do much for the people in this area, he felt. It was a, it was a thought that stayed with me, with me for many years until Liam McElligot rang me and uh, I gave some more thought to it as, it as it brought me back to that conversation. And I think that was uh, uh, the genesis of, of my own sense of um, uh, maybe attempting to do something novel and uh, different to what I as a property developer could achieve in this area, which at the time was probably going to be a warehouse development or something of that sort. Uh, we have an Irish saying called Neil Narts gan Corla there's strength in unity. And I suppose the few formed that uh, by having all the different key players around the city involved in a charitable organisation where we were all uh, playing in the one direction uh, had to be a successful model for uh, community development in the area. Our three main aims were to foster employment, uh, create the opportunities for people to be trained and uh, also to empower and in, in, in encourage uh, greater participation in education locally.